Hi, I'm Amanda and welcome to The Hot Plate. Today we're getting steamy in the kitchen with Pei Chen. I like that, steamy. <laughs> very nice. Yeah, well we like to keep it steamy in the kitchen. That's great, I love it. Well, I'm very happy to be here. Thanks for inviting me. You are so welcome. And we're very excited to have her in the kitchen helping me make some passion fruit cheesecakes today. Well, I, I love baking. I love sweets. I have a terrible sweet tooth, <laughs> so I'm very excited to be making something. And I love the idea that it's a no-bake cheesecake because a lot of people get a little scared about cheesecakes. Definitely. They can be a little finicky, but um, this is quick and easy. So the first thing we'll do is we'll kind of go through the ingredients that we have and then we can start making our dessert. All right, sounds good. Okay, so for our base, I'm a graham cracker addict. Okay, so am I. <laughs> I love that. So we have about a half a cup of graham cracker crumbs with three tablespoons of sugar. And the reason that we've got the sugar in there is to help it bind together. That's going to give us that nice firm base. And then, of course, we have our two tablespoons of melted unsalted butter. Right, that's the key. So. As I said, we're going to be using passion fruit. Mm -hmm. Now, I was just telling Pei that when the first time when I was about 10 years old and I saw passion fruit, I thought it was a chocolate Timbit and I tried to bite into it. Which is really disappointing <laughs> as a child. <laughs> yeah. But I love that you were able to find fresh passion fruit because it is a bit tough for some people yeah. to find. But a lot of the major markets now do carry them. They do carry them year round. You'll find them from some of the Latin American climates. The, the biggest problem with them is that they're really expensive. Mm -hmm. But a dish like this is great because instead of incorporating it into the actual cheesecake, it's going to be our topping. So we're going to be able to really stretch out how much we're using. Yeah, and just buy one and you're good for two people. Exactly. Okay, so if you could grab a spoon for me, sure. we're going to start by making the base. Okay. And so if you could mix the butter into those crumbs. Sure. Perfect. So I guess the idea that we're with the cheesecake is we want the base to bind together. Now, we're going to tamp down our base so we don't need the crumbs to be too wet. Okay, perfect. So we're going to be using um, individual molds. So these molds are going to help us make them individually sized. I'm just dividing this Just up divide in. it up in two. That's okay. perfect. Let's see. Oh, you can smell the graham cracker crumbs. That's so good. This is what cheesecake should be. That looks so good. So then we've got our little tamping tool here right. and we can... So this is going to... Exactly. So down. just make sure that it's even so that when we put the cheesecake on top, it's all nicely yeah. divided in between them. That looks amazing. Perfect, so our base is done. The mm -hmm. nice thing is because the butter is in our base, we actually don't have to grease the parchment paper. Excellent. Which I love, let's cut a little, a little fat hey, out. Can save steps and great. <laughs> yeah, saving steps, perfect. <laughs> So then we've got our filling. So for the mm -hmm. filling, I like to use whipping cream. Um, you could use a mascarpone, which is already oh, nice. fluffy, mm -hmm. and that way, again, saves a step. But I like the airiness that this adds. So we're gonna go ahead and we're actually gonna start beating it together, and we want it to form stiff peaks. Okay. And then we're gonna beat in our sugar and our cream cheese. Perfect. One easy step. All right, so it takes about three or four minutes of heavy whipping, mm -hmm. but then we get those stiff peaks we're looking for, and what we're looking for is that when we scoop it in, yeah. You've got the whipped cream kind of clinging to the beaters. All right, so into there we've got our package of cream cheese, which is at room temperature. You do not want to try to be beating cream cheese that's fresh out of the fridge. Right. And then our sugar. And I don't, I don't know about you, I don't love a lot of sugar. I like the tartness. Yeah. I don't think it needs to be too sweet. I find that sometimes it's just a little uh, too much. So yeah. just a bit to, to cut the tart is great. Exactly. All right, so hopefully we achieve that for you today. <laughs> And we just want to combine it. We don't want to whip it too much. And right. then, will you do me a favor and scoop this into our molds? Sure. Okay. So these are two very, <laughs> very large <full. laughs> and generous portions. Um, here's the so once these cheesecakes are finished being kind of tamped down, we're just going to cover it with plastic wrap, and then they're going to go into the fridge for just two hours. So Pei and I are going to show you how you can use tin cans to create the same individual cheesecakes. There's no excuse for not being able to make them. Absolutely not. Actually, I'll just I'll brave it and show people. So we actually just took off the base as well as the top. These, I think, were a tin, one was a tin for lentils and one for white beans. Right. <laughs> Your protein, the dinner part. Exactly. So now the trick is getting them out, obviously. Mm -hmm. So they're, they're very right. wedged. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're each going to grab a knife and we're going to dip it. I know it's a vase of water, but we're going to dip it in here and this is really hot water mm -hmm. and it's going to help us slide it around the outside of the cheesecake so it'll release, fingers crossed, easily. Yeah. And in one piece. <laughs> and in one piece. It's not a perfect science. Oh! oh. Woohoo! Yay! Okay, never mind. They come out that way. <laughs> Go back down. 
Here, I'll, I'll plate mine. Perfect. <laughs> All right, and now for the final topping, which is why I said it doesn't really matter, you know, if the top looks gorgeous or not, yeah. because we are gonna be topping it off with this fresh, fresh passion fruit. Oh, this is so nice. It's such a nice little touch. And you it can hide any little mistakes. Any you mistakes, have on you top just spread this. it all over. There we go. Make it look all pretty. Well, Pei, thank you so much for coming in the kitchen and helping me today with the cheesecakes. Um, my pleasure, more than my pleasure. I get to have <laughs> your fantastic dessert. So thank you so much for having me. Awesome. It was really, really a treat. Well, thank you so much for checking out The Hot Plate. Make sure to check out this and all of our other delicious recipes at thehotplate.com and updates on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash thehotplate.